Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about dopamine. Dopamine often gets a very bad rap, especially in self-improvement circles. They're like, man, you watching all this porn, it's releasing this dopamine in your brain and it's frying your brain. And you could replace porn with any other bad habit out there. You could say alcohol, you could say video games, you could say cigarettes, whatever. Dopamine, it's known as the feel good chemicals that your brain releases. And a lot of the times we're thinking of it in regards to bad habits. What would you do if I told you that you can unleash dopamine with good habits? It all starts with rules. When we think about rules, we often think of something very uh, bland or bad. That's the first perception that's created in the mind. Eh, it's boring or eh, it's going to restrict my creativity. Let me live without it. I'll actually go ahead and tell you that the strategic use of rules that you assign for yourself, it can empower you in many ways. And I'll give you an example. Normally for the Armani Talks blogs, I try to keep it within the 1000 word range. So if it comes out to, let's say 1023 words, I'll be happy. If it comes out to 1085 words, I'll be happy. It just needs that one zero in front of the digits. But let's say for these blogs, it comes out to 1400 words or 1800 words. It doesn't start with one zero. Instead, it starts with one four, one eight. No, I don't like it. Now, the reason that I thought of this whole 1000 words rule initially was because it was just the bare minimum you needed to do to be SEO friendly. So I thought, all right, well, let me at least get it to 1000 words. But over time, it was also something that helped me uh, get my points in a very clear way without rambling too much. So that's when I settled for the 1000 word rule. Now granted, every now and then I will upload a big blog, roughly around 1400 words, but I'm telling you, it does not hit the same uh, as the 1000 words one. Recently, I was writing this one blog post and I started off with a rough draft. The rough draft came out to 1700 words. Nothing to fear. I always overwrite in the rough draft section. Once I had that, I began to chisel away at it. I went from 1700 to 1600, 1600 to 1500, 1500 to eventually 1300. And that's when I noticed something. I noticed that there was nothing else to chop off. I just kept rereading it over and over again. And I noticed that I couldn't chop off anything. If anything, I had to actually add more content in. I thought, this isn't good. I'm not feeling a certain type of way that I normally feel with 1000 words. I'm rereading it more and more. And eventually I'm thinking about throwing in the towel. I'm thinking, all right, fine, I guess. I'll upload a big blog today. And as I'm about to hit that publish button, uh, something suddenly happens. I look at this blog and I notice something. One section is not advancing the point forward throughout this talk. Instead, this section is serving sort of like a detour. Now, if you've ever done any form of writing or public speaking or anything like that, every now and then when we create something, there's something that we build a font towards. And maybe within this certain section, we were pretty witty in our wordplay, pretty witty with a certain sentence, or we just showed how smart we are. I don't know what it was for me that day, but there was something within this section that was the detour section that I liked. Even though it was not advancing the point forward, I liked it. I didn't want to get rid of it. Plus, uh, before when I used to trim away at the rough draft, I've removed unneeded words before. I've uh, removed unneeded sentences, 
even paragraphs. But I've never removed an entire section. I can't do something like that. So I was thinking about it some more. I was thinking about what should I do? Eventually, I decided to pull the trigger. I highlight this entire section. And just like that, I click delete. As soon as I clicked delete, it went from 1300 words to 1028 words. As soon as I saw the one zero, my body started to feel so good. I felt the dopamine, the feel good chemicals. Now, would I have felt that dopamine if I didn't have those rules? Not in that situation. So I recommend that we create certain rules, whether it be for content creation, a habit, productivity, something like that. And each time you abide by those rules, you feel good. And this is one of those situations where when you stray away from the rules, it seems like a bad thing, but it becomes a good thing when you highlight that section and you delete and you come back to the rules regardless. This is a very healthy way in order to release dopamine in your body. And nowadays, I have something good to show for it. I have a blog that will eventually outlast me. So see if you can uh, take the perception of rules from bland, uh, bland to bl bad to it becoming great very soon. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.